Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Extremely, extremely happy that my camera decided to work. And I'm, you're looking at a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I am trying to remember where I put my spatulas because I moved them to a more convenient location. And <laughs> it's harder to find things when you do that. So I'm going to uh, set myself up for escape and I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to start with the sky and... I am going to look for colors that I really want in here. Do I want enamel? No, I don't. I think it's going to be a mostly purple sky, and I'm having trouble with my bottles again. Go figure. All right, I'm just going to pour some paint out of there. And the dogs are playing. <laughs> just had their dinner. I'm just going to give myself... Oh, I see those. They must have been right out of the bottle threads. So, note to self. Don't take the top off over the canvas. I have some wonderful blue, metallic. I'm just going to squeeze a bunch of colors in the sky and see what happens. And what else? I've got a nice blue around here somewhere. And I'm going to hope for the best. A little more of that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Go to the paws. I would put orange in there, but it's not time yet. I don't usually create a sky out of a puddle and tip it, but this might be, is that the same color pretty much? You don't belong here, doggy. Go away. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna let myself have my magenta. Magenta, my magenta. The genta, the magenta is, um, Quinacridone, I believe it's called, and it's uh, not something that was easy to learn how to say, I guess, at the moment. I'm looking for white metallic from Anita's, which should not be, should not have, there it is, have been put away. So I'm probably going to use an edge catcher with this, and we'll see how I feel about it after I get started. Maybe a little more of this, and what a, a little more of what else. I'll just, I don't often do what I'm about to do, but I kind of want to, <laughs> and maybe I should have put my orange in like I was thinking, but I'm going to tip it all down to the edge catcher and I'm going to let it roll down, rock my canvas so it comes back again, roll it down the other way. rock my canvas, push the paint from the edge catcher back into the artwork, and then, even though I said I wouldn't, I think I'm going to give my, yeah, I'm going to go as far as I can, considering that things keep getting plugged up. This is an iridescent pink that's more purple than pink, also with a plug in it. <laughs> Come out. Guess I got what I wanted. <laughs> Do I want any more blue down there? I have some light blue. Everything is definitely having... Wow, that was a big one. I call them flow troll you know what. <laughs> I'm going to take all of my paint right off my edge catcher using my OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading spatula around. Available on the Amazon link under show more. I'm going to just do this again. I kind of think I wish I would have left some in the middle because I want to tip it down. But right now, I'm basically just having a good time playing with this. They may not even be colors that I like. Letting that pull. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to try not to flip the edge catcher into the artwork. That's what I'm going to try. That is one wild, wild sky. So, because I've got a hole right there, I'm going to do what I just did again. I'll take the paint I see right off the edge catcher. Run my spatula across the top. I kind of wish I had 
giving myself a lot more of that orange because I really like how it looks mixed in with everything else. Which means that I could, in theory, huh, put some other colors in there. Because I can! Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon one. Let's find even more colors like that. Because in for penny, in for pound. I've already gone so far past reasonable. <laughs> but I might as well just have, have a ball. Just going to let them meld together by tipping. And use the edge catcher to catch. I think I'm going to keep the paint on the edge catcher and use it on the other side. It's quite a bit of paint there. I think it'll work out great. I'm going to rub that off a little bit. That's a, that's a much nicer sky than the sky I was thinking I was going to get stuck with. Whoops, dipped it right in there. Okay then. Come on. Unkink. So I don't know what's going to happen with those patterns right there, but I think they're probably going to be interesting in a moment at least. And I'm dripping all over my hand. <laughs> Which is different than on the edge catcher where I can use it again. Actually, I just scraped it off in the edge catcher, so um, that's a very cool sky. That's absolutely, totally cool and absolutely surreal. I have no regrets at all. Love how the colors are mixing. I'm going to be very cautious because there's color, there are colors in here that will make mud. And I'd like to get all of that to go back to the center again. Just tapping ever so slightly. I've got a little tiny bit more paint on my edge catcher, but not a lot. I don't hate the color of it either. So if I've got a mass of paint on this other side and I get it to the middle without dumping too much of it off, which is probably not likely, then I can also tip it down toward the center and just keep going with that. I've, I've begun to blow on, on all kinds of things because of, the, uh, because of the bloom technique. I got paint everywhere. And I don't mind the paint that I've got so far. I really don't want to have any brown. I've got a kind of a funky greenish color in there. But it's also metallic and pearlescent, so I'm not going to complain. Also, I could squeeze something else in there like... like the magenta with a little bit of purple. We'll call this one all about the sky. And then maybe take my straw and see what happens. When I try and meld that in. kind of want that yellow cloud to go back the other direction. Well, it might be my last painting of the day, and I really needed to spread this quite far and wide because I wanted to do an inversion pour on the bottom, and I'm going to have to tilt it a little bit to make it work. But I am loving that sky. It's just amazing and fun. And I'm really tempted to go ahead and grab a spatula and lead some of it right down because there's plenty of paint there and that will give me what I need at the bottom for a layer of paint to travel on more or less although what I'm really thinking of that's actually not a bad color it's very rosy very rosy colored Just blowing along the bottom edge of that. Wish I put a little bit of blue in there. I wonder how if that's not a bad idea. It'll probably get lost in the process, but you never know. It might stay, and I like it. 
And if I tip it up, I'll spread it out. I should have put it away a little distance. I didn't blow in the blue enough. Straw will often uncover hidden colors. Okay, so now my idea is take the Prussian blue. Is it what I really want? That's the question. I'm going to use it anyway. But it occurs to me that I may not have shaken this up. Do I want the Prussian blue or do I want the purple? I have more purple. Nothing's open. <laughs> I should show you guys this while I get this ready. So there's my sky, my incredibly crazy sky. with orange clouds and blue clouds and please open <laughs> please bottle open my student left her large thumbtack she keeps on the bottom of her paintings yesterday and they're the perfect tool to open my uh, to open my plug bottles so thank you very much Janet I'm so sorry you left your bottles let's go all the way up there I don't know how this is going to work I'm just going to give myself a chance right now I better be ready to pour something off because I think I used maybe more paint than I needed. Although I can shuffle some of that back to the center where it's going to become part of my part of my inversion pour puddle and the rest can come down to the bottom edge. You know I'm inclined to just go ahead and cover the bottom edge with that right now. I'm going to be a little careful about slapping things about. I don't know I may wind up moving up into that sky too. I don't think I really need to tip this right yet. It's covering really well. I like that. It's always surprising if one dark colors cover the first time for me and it may not be it may not stay that way, but we have other paint going to be added to it. And I may be pouring some off like I said. I'm just covering the end. You may be I may be out of your view for a second, but you have an interesting sky to stare at at least. All right. So that could just be a massive purple mountain. <laughs> and I'm going to come right back and um, I'm going to take the paint off that spatula with my finger and throw it in the bucket and give myself a quick wipe off and use the back of that. All right, so this is my idea. This is a crazy idea. This may or may not work idea. I'm going to put that right down. Is that the right end? No, of course not. And I'm going to add some colors I like and I'm going to make sure that there's some enamel in here because that's really key. I'm looking for and am I finding? No, where's my enamel? Okay, well I've got some black enamel. We'll start with that. Got to start somewhere, right? Um, I don't want blue in there so much as I want other colors. So let's give me the green, the turquoise even winds up being all right I'm very close to having enough paint in there I believe maybe even more paint than I need and I'm gonna switch my edge catchers out so I have one that has less paint on it I'm using my typical colors with the exception of the gold which I need to find right now Shake that up a little bit, see if there's, there is another color I want in there. It's weird to try and make an inversion pour with, a, with escape. Come here, little tack that is perfect. Wow, that does not want to come out at all. Come on, please don't explode into my painting. All right, evidently I'm not supposed to use that right now, so I'm going to find something similar. Um, maybe some Anita's black would work. Maybe the Prussian blue would be good too. That I did not open. Whoops. <laughs> it's open now. Well, more or less. Looks like I got some more. 
bottles to clear out. Wow, that is being a problem. All right, I won't use it. So what do I replace it with? Maybe some lighter purple. That's perfect. That's probably way, way more paint than I need. I said that already, but what else do I want to see there? All right, I'm going to get ready because I think I'm going to get a mass of paint now. Um, I still need a puddle around there, and I think I'm going to use the copper. That may or may not work, but I'm going to try it anyway. And I am going to try and tilt this right now. Put something on my... Put a, several somethings on. On my tile. I'm just going to keep flowing that inversion across. I've got two minutes to remind you guys I do sell my artwork and uh, the studio needs your, your help and support. If you want to be of help and support, you can find on the end screens of any video the monthly drawing where you could actually win three paintings of the 15 that I've shared there. I don't know whether to go down. I think I'm going to go down. I hate putting my fingerprint in the top of this, but it's better to go down before the paint is spread all the way to the edges anyway. We've got some beautiful cells. I'm going to flow that back up before I flow it over. I, I said I sold my artwork. I'm, I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I have Teespring clothing below the video where you can find all over print t-shirts and all over print leggings, which are pretty cool. This is very strange, but it's okay. I got a lot of extra paint. I do use GAC 800 in all my recipes, which means that I don't actually have to worry too much. I want to go up. I want to keep my cells, though. I'm going to flow some paint right off this side. Let's just make a mountain. A mountain with a stream. I just saw the blue, and it looks just like a stream. We'll just keep tipping this, and I'll try and remember what I was supposed to tell you is please share my videos if you wouldn't mind. The longer you watch a video, um, any video, the more likely I am to get better placement on YouTube. At least that's the rumor. <laughs> um, what, el what else am I forgetting? Uh, Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more is for people who might want to see what I've been posting since 2013 on I got one more minute on pixels.com and Fine Art America I've got paint that I can use and I'm probably going to use it but I think it must be important to grab it off of I'm going to put it right up there right off the edge catcher and I'm going to put some of it on the bottom. I'm going to grab another spatula. I'm going to just remove that paint right there. And what else? I can blow into this. I know I have a crib sheet. I want to say thank you to you guys for all the support you've given me. And uh, I appreciate your wonderful comments that keep my morale up. Well, things are very strange at YouTube, and they are very strange at YouTube. I don't know what this is going to be like, but it's pretty cool right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to try and keep myself from... All right, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Goodbye. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, please. Watch the videos longer if you want. Look, look on my channel for tomorrow's video and the community page, and look for uh, 1,200 videos on the playlists, creative playlists. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I have no idea how much time might be left. <laughs> but I'm going to put the rest of... Oh. I was going to put the rest of my paint.